Smoking is relaxing. Smoking is a relief. Smoking is calming. Smoking is rebellious. Smoking is cool. Smoking is accessible. Smoking is enjoyable. Smoking is trendy. Smoking is peaceful. Smoking is a pastime. Smoking is intriguing. Before I was out in the community working, I worked for eight years as a dental nurse and I saw firsthand the effects smoking has on oral health and also the impact it has on a person's ability to eat, speak and talk with confidence. I was really young when I started smoking. Um, I was in high school. I was only 14 um, and I started because everybody else did. I started smoking at a very early age. I think I was about 11 or 12. I'd say I probably was a a, a more serious smoker from the ages of, of sort of 13, 14. I simply started because friends that I was knocking about with was all doing it and that's how I started smoking. Well, I started smoking probably around about, I think about 13, when I left the primary school and went to the secondary school. You didn't know any dangers or what was going to happen later on in life. You just, everybody did it. Well, mostly everybody. My mum and dad both smoked when I was very young. Um, I was an athlete when I was younger, so it's something that's never tempted me. Um, I worked in a small pub uh, with lots of farmers, and I worked in there from the age of 16, serving bar meals, and from the age of 18, I worked predominantly in the bar itself for about three years. It was a very smoky environment. I was definitely affected by passive smoking. You don't understand the effects it's going to have on your future. So from a young age, I just thought I looked cool. It wasn't until a couple of years later I started noticing some changes. Like the way you taste food, the way you smell fragrances, and the way you notice other smells around you. The main thing that you notice in your life is the smell of cigarettes and the taste of cigarettes. Smoking is expensive. Smoking is rank. Smoking is wrong. Smoking is suicidal. Smoking is smelly. Smoking is harmful. Smoking is addictive. Smoking is horrid. Smoking disguises gum disease, and it's through gum disease that you can lose your teeth. But smoking disguises, um, one of the first signs of gum disease is bleeding gums. But when you smoke, this doesn't happen. So that is another reason you should attend a dentist regularly. You might not know you have gum disease, but the dentist will spot it. Stained teeth stained tongue, loose teeth, leading to loss of teeth and ultimately dentures and then the very occasionally I have come across um, some cases of mouth cancer. When I was diagnosed I was absolutely devastated. I'd had a lump in my neck for about six months. My friend suggested that I should go and see about it and I thought mm, she must think there's something wrong with me. So I went to my GP and they thought that I should go and see the ear, nose and throat surgeon and I popped over to Inverclyde um, and I was very quickly diagnosed. It was an absolute shock. I've got an 11 year old daughter, well she's 11 now, and my first thought was, oh, I'm not going to be around for my daughter for very much longer. One of the girls said, Keith, you're looking awful grey, you know, are you feeling all right? And I said, no, nah. I said, no, I don't. They said, look, we're, we're, we're going to go and get someone from A&E to come and have a look at you. So they came and had a look and said, no, look, Keith, come on round to A&E. You, you know, you're, you've lost a lot of colour. And uh, I didn't realise it at the time, but I was actually taking a heart attack. With your general health, smoking can lead to lung damage, lung cancer, and aggravate asthma. In fact, smoke, uh, cigarettes have 4,000 chemicals in them. 60 of them are carcinogenic. I was um, very unaware of any symptoms of the cancer that I had, apart from a lump in my neck, um, and I was possibly a little bit more tired than normal. Most people that are diagnosed with oral cancer have been smokers in the past or are still smokers. It's definitely a bigger risk being a smoker for oral cancers. The consultants were absolutely 
flabbergasted that I wasn't a smoker and had never been a smoker. I had a lymph node dissection. It was cut from here up to behind my ear and they peeled my face back to about here. During and after treatment, the pain was absolutely agonising to the point where I was unable to eat or swallow for about six months. I was tube fed up my nose and down into my stomach. The most revolting fluid that you could ever imagine. And they took out my lymph nodes right down this side. Thankfully, that was completely clear and the radiotherapy and chemotherapy had killed all the cancer cells. Unfortunately, I've been left deaf in this ear and I have no feeling from here to here on this side of my face. I have very little saliva in my mouth. My teeth are very, very sensitive. I've had quite a lot of work done at the dentist since my treatment. Um, I don't enjoy food and I still get very tired even after the treatment three years ago. In my case, I was suffering aching legs, which I put down to the fact that I was so fit and active and always on the go. Like I just assumed it was just normal sort of pains, like aches and pains, but uh, it wasn't the case. After sort of walking any, any sort of distance, sort of, you know, 200 yards plus, and I'd, they'd start aching. As a result, it's uh, the medical term for it is Berger's disease, um, founded by a man called John Berger in 1908. I should expect to lose the other leg and possibly my hands because this disease affects your extremities. So I live with that risk. Now that I've got the disease, there is no stopping it whether I stop smoking or not. The pros and cons of smoking, there's pros, yes, I can relate to, it did calm you down, but the, the cons of it is seriously bad for your health and it also can start, start fires quite easily. If you happen to have a drink and you're smoking, you might miss the ashtray, the cigarette can fall down the side of your seat, you can fall down onto the carpet, you don't know it's there, you go, up, you go away to your bed, what happens, it smoulders away and then it bursts into flame. It gives up such a toxic gas and I will be honest in this one, it's, it's a harsh reality of it, the first lungful will choke you and you'll gag and you'll try to grab another lungful. The second one will render you unconscious and the third one will kill you. Smoking is killing. Smoking is deadly. Smoking is unhygienic. Smoking is bad. Smoking is unclean. Smoking causes diseases. Smoking is a murderer. Smoking is unattractive. Smoking is horrible. If there's anybody that's thinking about starting smoking or trying a cigarette, um, it's not a good idea. It's very addictive. Um, people will tell you it's easy to stop. It's not easy to stop, it's hard, um, but it's totally worth it. The best thing to do is not start in the first place. It's not cool, it's definitely not clever, it's going to cost you money and it's going to cost you your health. If you're saying, I would say probably at secondary school, which I think most people will start that, your pals will say, I'll oh, go on, take one, take one, but anything else, don't. At that age, you don't, you think you're invincible as, as a child, like, you know, you think that'll never happen to you, and and it's only, only when it's too late and you're addicted to nicotine that you start, and as you get older, you start to feel the effects, like, you know. I want to stop smoking because it's unhealthy. I want to stop smoking because it's disgusting. The biggest thing, I think, is that people say, I can't stop. Yes, you can. Yeah, it's tough. It's hard. You'll get the cravings, but you can do it. You can do it, persevere, and you can do it, and you'll feel a lot better. I want to stop smoking because it's harmful. And I want to quit smoking because it's unattractive. I want to stop smoking now because I know what a devastating effect it can have. And I'd rather set a different example for other people. I don't smoke now because I don't like the smell. I like my fresh clothes. I like to taste my food. And save a lot of money, yeah, absolutely. Go on a nice holiday. It's just not having a heart attack, different types of cancers, 
they're all aggravated by smoking. So please, don't start. Don't even think about it. I now have to live with a false limb, which is at best uncomfortable, at worst impossible to wear, which sometimes means I have to use a wheelchair. I have no choice. You, the youngsters do. Smoking can change all of that. Too many people are dying through smoking-related diseases. <laughs>